Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Bobby Lashley, the Almighty. Now, we've been waiting a long time to get Bobby Lashley in the game here on Champions, and he's finally here. And we have the Hurt Business Edition, so let's take a look and see what we got. He's a modern era powerhouse. He's got three links, the Hurt Business, gems do 50% more damage, raw, any color moves start with one more move point, and Modern Era, Gems do 5% more damage. He has the one gear, the Hurt Business gear. He's a coach, and he is the red submission coach. So much like uh, Bruno for green, we now have one for reds. At 9k, he's going to make your red submission moves, deal 50% more damage, and add one more bonus turn. Very, very useful. Uh, so excellent coach. Let's get in here and take a look. Uh, Bobby is really versatile. So I'm going to have six builds for you guys. Two three stars, a four star, and three different um, five stars. So um, strap in and get ready. Um, all of them are really pretty solid, actually. So um, let's take a look here at the first three star move and see what we got. And we're going to run with the full Nelson, which is uh, also known as the Hurt Lock in WWE. It's a submission, 12 MP red. Place six submission gems and do 35k damage for five turns. Um, it acts like the um, the Cena sub, so uh, it's a choose red. Um, so when you put it down, it turns the gems red right away. Um, then we're going to run with the spear, 9 MP red, deal 54k damage, and the spine buster. Uh, 2 MP yellow, deal 3k damage, and destroy 3 random red gems. For the entourage here, we're going to run with um, Zombie Nakamura. So we're gonna that yellow move is going to destroy 4 more gems and add 30% more uh, damage onto the move damage. You could also run with Wade Barrett, uh, Mr. T, and uh, 9k Vader would all add to the destroy on this one. So we're going to destroy seven gems. Uh, this build, I'm going to run with Zombie Austin uh, for three more turns on the sub, and they do 20% more damage, giving us a total of eight turns at 42k a tick. X-Pac to coach, and uh, Typhoon for red gem damage. So that's what we're going to roll with. We're going to go against um, AJ on the road. Class advantage for us, but he is strapped. We are not. Plus two... Um, plus two MP to start for me, and uh, plus one on a match. Basically what that means with that combination in X-Pac, if I make a four and a three match with the full Nelson, it recycles itself. A lot of red on the board. Um, I could use the destroy, but I'm gonna take the five match here. Because that gets us loaded right away where the destroy would have been short. So that's pretty nice. Um, for the, the strap, you see I have an armor and a fury. You could run, I would run double of both, either one or the other um, on this build set. you A lot of Lashley's move sets are really uh, versatile. So you could run a lot of different combinations. More on that in a minute. Uh, so the submission, like I said, if you hit four and three, it will uh, totally recycle itself. We have a bunch more that we can get, so I'll take it. I usually only like leaving one gem left, and I typically put it on a corner. It can come back to bite you, but I'm really not too worried about it. I like taking the extra damage. So we got 87k out of the, the choose. I like It's kind of like a choose move. And now the sub is ticking for the normal damage. Um, plates for this build set. The general's orders would be great. Uh, it would make sure the yellow was full every time. Just in case you, for some reason, weren't able to recycle the red. Um, the two words for you plate would uh, help create some havoc. Throw in a bunch of uh, cross breaks and stuff. X breaks, I guess, onto the board. Uh, but from here, once you get the first one on, and you can see how that went, um, it's it's pretty much over. Um, it's a really good card. And uh, the reason why you could run really almost any metal um, on Bobby is because um, you're doing the choose here, uh, and he's got decent move damage uh, on the spear. 
Uh, so you could run a, a takedown, you could run vitality. Um, there's just so many options. Uh, he isn't necessarily with these builds doing a ton of gem damage. So that's why you could run armor, you could run vitality, you could run takedown. You could even run padded really, depending on which set of metals you had ready to go. Really versatile card, very strong. Um, not as fast as some of the tippy top tiers, but he can certainly win a lot. And we'll get into some of those builds as we go along here. So the next one is also available at three star. This is his blast gem build. Um, kind of his big cast sort of build. Um, so we're going to get in here and switch our moves around. We're going to keep the, the full Nelson. We're going to bring in both black moves which is the shoulder block and the exploder suplex. Uh, they're a little bit higher charge um, at eight and nine, respectively. The shoulder block is nine MP, deal 35K damage and destroy six random blast gems. And the exploder suplex is eight MP, deal 37K damage and choose six gems to make into blast gems. Um, for the Entourage, I'm actually going to run with two MP coaches so we can start turn one. You wouldn't have to do that. If not, he's turn two. Um, and you could go with like Rusev if you wanted to make more Blast Gems. Just as an example, um, you could go with like Slick Rick since you're blowing up a lot of the board. So there's a lot of different ways you could go on this moveset. I like being able to start right away on turn one. I'm a big fan of that. So I will use uh, dual MP trainers. Um, if your ray was 9k, you would get an additional blast gem and make 7. Mine is not. So just keep that in mind. You could have a better setup than I'm showing you here with a 9k ray. That's something I need to um, fix uh, very soon. He should be 9k here in the next, probably next month, I would say. Got to go down here a ways. There we go. Blast Gems do 25% more damage at 9k. You'd get the bonus, and then we're keeping Typhoon. This build set definitely would be Double Fury for me. Um, let's get out here and take another look. Um, definitely Double Fury. The plates, you can see the two words for you in the blue bomber. Uh, throwing out um, X-Breaks and Blast Gems potentially on your moves. So just doing a little more chaos. So because we're going to destroy all of them we put out, uh, you can kind of, you want to kind of four corner it to start. And that covers a lot of area. After that, you know, you put, you start overlapping. So one right here is pretty good because um, there's, no, but you still overlap again. So right smack dab in the middle. And then I would pick whichever side has more reds or blacks in this case. Uh, over here and that should give us pretty good uh, coverage when we blow this up without wasting too much space you can see most of the board there uh, didn't recycle the black but we did get the red um, now something to keep in mind we're not using X-Pac so our normal 3 and 4 won't load him so you're going to have to try and get greedy, greedy to reload um, the sub again if you need to. Uh, five match there. Three. We'll make a four. We'll make a three here and another three there. And then um, this corner looks pretty okay. You could make a four match and look to pick up. Um, wow. Very nice cascade. 133k damage on that sub choose before the sub starts going um, you could look to make a row or column break and pick up some of the blacks if you missed them a lot of different ways you could go but you're draining your opponent so um, oh five match for AJ Um, but you can see now the blast move is definitely going to finish this uh, this match off. So another really strong move set and pretty fast if you start with the dual trainers. Um, not quite as much damage. Like I said, you could wait for a black match and then go um, 
gem damage sort of thing. And I like the red over here more, so we'll blow that one up. Not that it matters. I did change the graphic up again on the right. Uh, this is a little bit easier for me to make and a little bit uh, faster, so hopefully you guys like that graphic showing the double fury and the blue bomber and the two words for you plate. Uh, let me know for sure in the comments what you think. So again, another really strong build. And uh, just keep in mind, none of these are my favorite build yet. And they're pretty fast wins against a strapped opponent. So now we're going to take a look at his four-star moveset. Another uh, interesting move or setup here. We're going to keep the full Nelson. That's a pretty common theme. That sub is strong. Um, so you're going to see that featured a lot here. And we're going to bring the Spine Buster back in. And the Fall Away Slam is the four-star move that we haven't seen yet. That's another 2 MP yellow move. Uh, deals 4k damage and make 3 random gems into red gems. So we're going to go back to Nakamura to destroy more gems. And I do have Mr. T who would be better, but uh, Nakamura, uh, pretty a lot more people should have. Um, also, pretty much everyone got Vader for free, so if your Vader's 9k... Uh, you could use him too. Mine is not 9k yet. And then we're going to go with uh, Big John Stud to make four more reds. And uh, at 9k, he also starts with a yellow. So even if you had no perks, um, if you had Big John Stud, you would start ready to go. And then we're going to bring X-Pac back in so that sub can recycle itself. The whole goal is just to get started. And then keep uh, cycling that sub. Oops, went past it. X Pac here. X Pac. All right. Um, this one I don't have the uh, double armor in there as an option. I got double fury because you're spamming some more gems on the board and stuff. Uh, I feel like fury might be better. Again, still really versatile. You can kind of roll with whatever you want. Uh, General's orders to help bail you out uh, just in case for some reason you can't recharge the red. Two words for you for maximum carnage. Um, so if we destroy all seven, we're not ready to go turn one. Um, so I like hitting the randoms first, see what we catch. If we get a three match, we can potentially be ready turn one without causing a pin. Um, we did cause a pin. But, you know, almost 100k damage out of that, so not bad. And our red move of the sub is ready to go. Um, we could be a little bit greedy and destroy some gems. Uh, but it kind of defeats the purpose. It makes it a little bit harder to recharge the sub, so I'm just going to hold it. And take a row break there. Five match there. And we'll just keep this bottom right corner that I seem to like. So one thing to note, you notice AJ got an extra turn there. When you're making a wild card, it does give the AI an extra turn on that sub. Um, not a big deal unless he breaks your submission gem, but that's kind of an interesting... I don't know if it's a glitch or whatever... Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit the fall away slam just because we have plenty of pin bar to work with. So I'll take a little extra damage. Um, and again, more, way more red. So we'll go ahead and just take that damage and make sure we can finish it this second cycle. They're loaded again. We could hit it again. We can use the sub. Four. Three. Actually, let's... Let me keep doing my normal bottom right corner. Move will be recharged. Um, and a lot of these builds you could use Zombie Austin 
too, like I am was the first time. Uh, the future ones you're going to see uh, as well. But uh, I actually don't want to extend the sub, really, because the sub is a little bit slower. I just want to get through the uh, move animations as fast as I can. So I don't really want to elongate the sub any more than it is. And just for fun, let's do a choose move sub and break all of them to win it that way. <laughs> These kind of subs are really neat. Okay. Now, moving into the five star builds. This is where it gets really fun for me. Um, and there's three different options here. Uh, I'm going to show you my favorite one second. Uh, but first is this one, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's focusing on the trap gems. This can stack up damage really, really fast. Uh, so let's bring that uh, five star move in, which is the corner shoulder thrust. And we're going to keep the uh, spine buster to help get started easier. Okay, so we're gonna bring in the new five star move. It's a nine MP red, deal 45K damage and choose three gems to make into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, deal 22K damage and deal 22K bleed damage to your opponent for two turns. If broken by you, deal 15K damage. So if you put it in a spot and your opponent gets the three match, you're going to bleed them for 66K for two turns. So 122K, so not too shabby. We're going to go with Nakamura and Jinder for more trap gems. This set in particular, I'm going to show you two variations of this one. Um... But it's really versatile with a lot of options. Uh, so Ginger is just getting us six of those trap gems out, possible for some really big bleeds. Everything else stays kind of the same as it has been. So let's get out here and take another look. And again, um, this one, you could run armor, you could run fury. Um, you could run takedown to buff the corner shoulder thrust. There's just a lot of vitality. Again, super versatile builds and movesets for Lashley. So there's enough red gems to destroy all seven. And um, I do want to call out... So you notice we're too short. Um, so next turn it's not ready to go. Um... So I do want to talk about some other options. Instead of Jinder, you could use Batista. Uh, he would buff the move damage, uh, and he would um, also give you one extra red MP at 9k, so you'd be ready to go turn two. So that would be an option. Um, now we're going to place our trap gems. We're going to try to play uh, a guessing game of where AJ is going to break. Uh, blue is what he's going to target primary as an acro. Um, purple usually is his second. I'm going to take this, I'm going to leave him this blue, uh, because I want to hopefully get him to break the trap gems. And I'm going to make this row break and there should be a purple here for him too when I'm done. We'll see how this works out. Except a purple fell in, so that kind of sucked. But there we go. Three of the bleeds, really big amount of damage, um, so it's just fast damage. And this is where that General's Order plate would come in clutch. Um, you see that there. After that first break, the yellow would be reloaded, we'd be able to hit it again, um, and we'd be using it this turn as well. I'm going to take his blues. But you can, it just, it really, uh, the damage adds up really fast with that uh, bleed. Four break, three break, and my normal right corner that I like. So everything's ready to go. 
and we'll be able to finish it out next turn. Not sure how necessary Jinder really is, to be honest. Um, it does let you get a little more on the on the trap gems, but I, sh I just thought it was a cool option to uh, be able to show a different trainer than you would maybe think that would work on Lashley. All right. And you can see that did 15k damage. You can also break the traps for a bunch of extra damage. Um, so, like this. We'll do this too. Uh, I may not... If I force a pin, it should work out anyway. So, <clears throat> let me show you guys another option with Jinder. Um, you can do... You could do the choose for bigger damage or also the destroy. Because each one of these is worth 15k damage. When we break them. So you can do it this way as well, and get a bunch of extra damage. Uh, you could also break them with the sub and get the extra damage with the choose move that way too. So um, it does give some versatility that way, and I wanted to make sure and show that as an option as well. And that'll definitely do it. Okay, so the next move set is going to be uh, actually my favorite in playing and testing him. Um, this one is the same moveset we saw, but instead of gender, I'm actually going to bring Sting in and keep everything else the same. And I think you'll see why this is my favorite. Um, if you guys have watched a lot of my videos, you know I like starting fast. Uh, you know I like being able to go on turn one and not take damage. So this is the best way I found to be able to get Lashley turn one and drain your opponent. Um, and still do very quick damage. And that's just throw Sting on there. Uh, you need a very, very dry board of reds or um, an unlucky Cascade to not have the sub ready turn one. And this build set to me has a very strong Texina feel. If you've played Texina, uh, very similar to that. Again, the same sort of thing apply for the plates on this build and for the um, the metals. So you can see we're very close to being ready out of the gate. As long as we don't force a pin, we're gonna be able to hit the sub turn one and recycle our moves. There we go. Get the traps out. The downside is I destroyed all of the red, um, so it won't totally recycle. So I'm going to play a little bit smart, try to play a little bit smart here. Um, and let's do this for the traps. And I am going to make a row break here and pick up those two yellow and get rid of his blue here. Uh, so hopefully he breaks these trap gems. One, two, three, four. We're going to go here and we're going to take, um, take the blue away here. So the yellow will be ready to go next turn, and we hopefully can reload that red. Got some of the bleed on. We'll force a pin, but that's okay. He, he did get a purple, so he's going to get one move off. This is definitely, though, my favorite moveset. You can see it goes by pretty dang fast. And again, um, you can place the traps to do more damage. Four and three, take an extra one there. Could have went with the bleed, can do more damage. It's whatever you kind of feel like. Gives it a little bit of variety. 
So yeah, that's my favorite move set right there for for Lashley. Really, really strong. Um, the only thing that keeps him from being like very top of the the pile for me, like Keith Lee and and Zombie Daniel Bryan, is the fact that he just is not quite as fast. He will win as much, I think. He's just not quite that fast for feud. So. When I say he's not tippy top, tippy top tier, don't think I'm saying he's bad because he's not. This is a very strong card, guys. Uh, and finally, I'm going to show you guys the triple red move set. Um, the danger with this one is not getting a red match. When you don't get a red match, uh, it can take a while sometimes. So for this one, um, I'm going to bring in big sexy Kevin Nash to start with 75% more chance of red gems on the starting gem board. Uh, we've seen all the moves already, so I don't need to talk about them again. Um, so let me get Big Sexy in here. There we go. Uh, if you had Fiend, you could put Fiend in in place of Typhoon for a 25% higher chance. I don't. This move said I would run double takedown. Um, for since we're running more red moves. Um, and the plate you see there, even though it's uh, green, break green, get three red, the aftershock plate, that just gives you more outs. So if you didn't have a red match on turn one, you could break three green and your reds would be good to go on turn two. Um, which even using Nash, don't have our reds turn one, which is fine because... Uh, I actually wanted to be able to show you guys the downside to this move set, and this is it right here. If you get a dry board, although we do pick it up the second turn, so not that bad. But once you're started, this move set is very nasty. Once you're rolling um, in a hot tag scenario, this is definitely the way I would run him uh, with uh, like behind Taxina, for example, charging the reds. Because now we're just going to put out a bunch of damage. The spear. The trap gems. Should have no problem recycling here. You'll see AJ's going to get that extra turn on the sub because I made a wild card right there. So that's something to be aware of. Now we got the bleed going. A lot of damage really quickly. And this will definitely do it. guys so that's Bobby Lashley a uh, lot of fun to play very good control card um, I don't like the double black move set too much personally but almost everything else uh, is really quite good to amazing super flexible on the trainers you don't need anyone rare to make it work um, so definitely thumbs up for me uh, probably after playing him, I wasn't sure he'd creep into a top five powerhouse for me, but after playing him, I think he's certainly a top five powerhouse because of the versatility and control. Um, and the only thing that keeps him from being in the top three to me is the fact that he's not quite as fast as those other guys. 
uh, those few other guys. So really, really good card. Uh, fun to play, really versatile. Uh, props to Scopely on this one. I think he is an excellent addition to the game. So uh, let me know what you guys think about him in the comments, uh, what you think about the video, and uh, let me also know again what you think about how I switched up where I'm putting the Fury gems, medals, plates, etc. Uh, it's easier for me. Hopefully it still works for you guys. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, and remember to like, subscribe, and share. It helps me out, and good luck out there.